Hey everybody, Bobby G, back for the next episode of me going through the tutorial section of the game Contraption Maker. We're just trying to get a handle on the mechanics uh, and the different types of puzzles that this game has to offer, and if you recall from the last episode, that's exactly what we did, ending on this ray gun stage, which actually gave me a little bit of trouble. I'm hoping the next stage, Lights, will be a little less intense on my brain. But there's only one way to find out. So turning on the light on the right hand side of the screen seems to be the task at hand and these tutorial stages have so much kind of stuff going on it's hard to tell what's actually important. So I usually just hit the play button and see what goes on and quite sure what went on there, but let's see here. Okay, so, well, like some of the other tutorials, we just have to sort of mirror a little bit of what's going on on the left-hand side. So let's start off by at least doing that much. However, I'm not sure what this little piece is here solar panel. <laughs> okay. I got it, I guess. So, I think... I think, I think that uh, when this basketball falls off, it'll hit this little flashlight and that will perhaps turn on the light. And that is just exactly what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was much easier than the ray gun level. So far, so good. Light both double lighters and both candles. Did I say that right? A double lighter? Oh, I see. A lighter with two, two flints, perhaps? So, again, we're just going to hit the play button. Kind of see what the heck happened here. Magnifying glass focuses the light, turns on the candle. Alrighty. Well, like we've said in the past, and I'll say it yet again, let's just basically mirror what we see on the other side. No big deal. Make my own puzzles. No thank you for now. Use fire to heat up the teapots and make some tea. Now. I don't believe that I've said anything tea related in any Bobby video in the past, but I'm quite a fan of tea. So this is right up my alley. Hope there's mint tea. This is a lot going on here. <laughs> okay. Well. Here we go yet again. Still getting the lay of the land, folks. I can't imagine that this is too exhilarating because here we are, uh, consistently just mirroring what's on the left-hand side. But here we go. No big deal. It's funny that the ray gun level from the last episode was so seemingly difficult, and now here's a bunch that are just copying what you see, basically. Blow up all the bombs and dynamite. Okay. Well, we got some dynamite, some bombs. Let's hit play and see what happens. <laughs> Alright. Alright. A little more mirroring, except this time apparently we... Uh, mix up the sides of what we're mirroring, I guess. So, nothing crazy here. That was an easy one again. That was exciting. It was. Not really. Let's make more things go boom. Blow up both of the remote bombs. Okay. Well, here's a new mechanic. The remote bomb. I see. Here's the little remote control. 
So, all we gotta do is put the second remote control in the spot, and now we discover that the remote bombs, all they need is something to press the remote lever. Launch the toy rocket, the missile, and the bottle rocket. Okay. Let's hit play and see if anything happens. Nope. So perhaps this might be the first little puzzle in a little while that is not copying some portion of what you already see happening. We have to... We have to think this one through. But how? Let's see if this will do anything. It will indeed. Alright. Well. That's perhaps set in stone, and now we need the lighter to get hit. And the, <laughs> the bucket will fall off and light the other one. I wasn't even sure that that was what was going to happen, but... With only those amount of parts, I guess there wasn't too much possible. Fire the cannons. Okay. Doesn't sound so bad. This is quite the scene here. It's almost like we're in a, a science classroom. Okay. Let's think this through for just a second. We, of course... Need the bucket to do some work for us. I don't know, let's just give this a shot. No. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there we go. So that was a pin I had to pull, I think? Looks like it, huh? Just pull the pin. Boom, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so that's what those skull balls were from the last episode. Apparently they're cannonballs. Pull the sticks on all four trap doors. Okay. Well, I think I could manage that much because this is another... another uh, mirroring thing, basically. Wait, right? No, not quite. Not quite. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. completely right. I might not need all that. Might not need to use all the pulleys. And indeed, we do not. Whew. That's strange. <laughs> There's extra little pieces of reinforcement that uh, two of the cannonballs didn't fall through the trap door. Might come in handy later. Don't pop any balloons except the one in the middle. Holy moly. Okay. Um, except the one in the middle. Alright, well... Obviously going to need... Some help, I think. Wait, wait. Let's uh, quickly reset the puzzle. Do we have two ropes? Is that uh, is that right? Yes, we do, in fact. But the only thing is this pin. This looks like you should be able to have it go the other way, but I can't. Flip. Oh, okay, it's not a one-click deal, you actually have to drag it yourself. Very good. Easy peasy, ladies and gentlemen. Pop all of the blimps. Alright, well, let's
let's just see what happens. That one's already going to pop on the left. That one's apparently already going to pop up top. Ah. Uh, easy peasy. Gonna have to cut the old rope. I think. Not quite. Not quite. Probably something like this. What is this, a floating hubcap or a UFO? We'll slam up and hit the scissors, cutting the rope. And the last blimp will sadly fall to its fate. Ah, flying saucers. I was right. On the second guess. Activate both of the steam whistles. Well, this might get a little annoying, and there's quite a number of parts to utilize here. <clears throat> okay. So... I have a feeling that this bowling ball... Well, hold on. First things first, we need to power... The fan. Need to power the fan. The pinwheel, rather. Need to power the pinwheel with the fan. Hook it up to the conveyor belt. The basketball is going to fall on this portion of the seesaw, as it were. But... But, huh, but how do we get the rope from here over to here? Now that's the question. Oh, <laughs> just that easy, I guess. I thought we were going to have to go around it. Oh. Alright, let's get it going the other direction. Here we go. Oops. And of course I forgot the... What do they call this thing? A billow? Bellow. Very good. So the bowling ball will hit the bellow. Basketball will... Uh-oh. I was not right. I was not right, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like it needs to be pulled on the downward angle. But... How am I going to do that? Hmm. How am I going to do that, folks? Now I'm stumped, actually. The goal is to get both of the whistles. Right? There's no pulley. Right? There's no pulley. Well, maybe I had it on the wrong side. Let's see. Yep, that was it. I just had it on the wrong side of the seesaw. Very good. Ooh, but a change of scenery here. Light the candle. All the way down there. Now, what are these, dominoes? Some form of dominoes? <laughs> okay, well, I already kind of see what's going on here. These dominoes are going to slowly, slowly fall down, 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 and hit the flashlight, which will utilize the magnifying glass and light the old candle. You know, I didn't think of it before, but a falling domino effect is perfect for a game like this. Easy peasy. Get both of the paper lanterns off the top of the screen. Okay. No problem. Well, the first one is going to have to, I think, get burned by the magnifying glass. Am I wrong? Maybe. Maybe, because... 
Doesn't look like that is going to burn the rope right away. Not sure why there's a light here. Um, okay. So actually, I think that the scissors is all is needed on this side. Yep. And it makes sense that I think this flashlight and magnifying glass combo may need a little more room to get going. But I'm not sure, actually. Does this need to get spun around? No, I guess not. Ah, I forgot. The thing about paper lanterns is that they fly away because there's a candle heating them up. So, so buttons. So that means I'm going to have to, ah, right. There's two light sources here, but this one seems pretty tied down to a bucket where this is tied down to a some sort of hook. So I'm not sure if this is going to... Oh, okay. Well, apparently the bucket wasn't too heavy, I guess. Hmm. Not so bad. Pop both of the balloons. I'm sure I can do that. Oh no. More gravity manipulation? If you folks have checked out some of my other videos, you might, uh, you might understand my, my weariness. I've dealt with this in the past, that's for sure. Okay, well, I guess I'll put this here and put this here. I don't know. This hubcap looking thing might smash the tack up into the balloon and this might fall and hit the tack. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm some sort of brilliant person. I'm just uh, trying something that comes to my mind and it just happens to work, although I don't think it's too difficult, so there's only so many things you can try. That last stage certainly was an example of that. Get the cannonball off the screen. screen excuse me. Okay. A mechanical trampoline? The soccer ball is probably going to get the hamster started. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a pinball machine. Ah! Pinball flipper and the bumpers. Okay, so now we have access to a mechanical trampoline. There's like an infinite amount of mechanisms in here, like, ah. Uh, you see one briefly, and then they move on to something else. Guess you're just slowly getting accustomed to everything. Get all of the basketballs into the recycling bin. Did it say baseball? I think it said baseball. Well, okay. Can't imagine that that would be too terrible. A pool cue? Doesn't really look like a pool cue. So, all right. Well, let's let's hope that the blimp will hit the pool cue. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Apparently, the poor blimp is destined to fly back and forth in that setup, but make toast and all the toasters. I'm all about making toast, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, apparently the third toaster needs an outlet, and, and what else, now we have a baseball, one, two, well that one's really, they're getting more and more burnt, wait, well, I guess everyone does like a different variance of burning on their toast, so that makes sense. 
become a maker. Yeah, apparently you can make your own puzzles. And this is like the most complicated thing I've ever seen. I don't think I want to get involved in that right now anyway. I would just like to solve the puzzles that already exist. Get the cannonball into the cardboard box. And hey, this reminds me of something I used to play with as a kid. A series of tubes and... I guess we're using a cannonball here, but what I remember was throwing marbles down something that looked like this. And uh, hopefully there's a little bit of momentum that'll keep keep this ball going. And Well, it's quite clear we need to connect that there. And I don't know why there's a finger on here. Oh, an accelerator. Well, I would think we wanted to accelerate that way. Oh, oh, not quite. Maybe the accelerator needs to go up here. And the pipe needs to go down here, except it doesn't fit, so I guess I'm wrong. All right, well, that's on the difficult side. Just have to hope it'll get over there but well I guess there could be more gap on this right hand side because this is the portion where it'll have the most momentum Let's see if that theory proves correct and well almost just do a little closer or maybe we don't even need a gap on the right hand side let's see oh apparently we need a little bit just a little bit folks yes no? Oh, come on. That was as close as can be. Oh, uh, what? Just give it a little shove. Alright, let's try it like this. Smallest gap ever, and no. Okay. iron ball. Maybe it'll just shoot across. No. So we're just gonna have to get the perfect the perfect amount of space on both sides for this ball to actually get over there. If that's the case, that's kind of tedious. Unless I'm just Unless I'm just really not understanding. You know, maybe we don't even need a piece down here. It might just fly through. Maybe they're trying to trick me into thinking I need to use all the parts. Well, no, apparently I need to use all the parts. Oh, you can make it shorter? Oh, come on. Well, now this... <laughs> well, that's obviously all you need to do there. I didn't know you could make it shorter. Easy peasy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I appreciate you coming through this tutorial with me. We're, we're learning the ropes as we go. This is the second episode, and we're really breezing through these tutorials for the most part. In fact... Uh, in the first episode, that was the only real challenge we've had. Um, so we're sailing along pretty well. And I think this is a good time to cut this one short. And I appreciate you guys coming along with me. And feel free to leave any suggestions uh, below in the comment section if you like this video or if you prefer me do something else. I'm open to ideas. But so far, I'm enjoying this puzzle game. And we'll see you next time. This has been Bobby G. Thanks for watching.